If you're new to using Final Cut and you don't understand why your library files are so big, it's because you need to delete the generated library files that it creates. So when you hit on the library file and then you look in the right hand corner in the information panel, you can see sometimes that that number can be around 100 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, sometimes even more. So when you import footage, Final Cut is basically creating optimized footage for you so that when you're playing back the footage it's trying to give you the smoothest playback possible so it renders the footage behind the scenes and then it creates these optimized files for you so what you need to do is go into file and delete generated files so when you go into delete generated library files you're going to have two options it's going to be unused only and all what you want to do is select unused only because if you select all, then it's going to delete all the generated files that it's created, which if you're still working on the project, isn't going to be helpful to you. So you want to select unused only, and then it's going to delete all those generated files and reduce the size of your project. So once you finish your project and you want to archive it, that's when you select to delete everything. You can also delete the proxy media if you've created any proxy media and also optimized files if you created any optimized files yourself. And that's just going to massively reduce the size of your Final Cut library. So I hope that helps. It massively helped me out when I figured it out ages ago when I started using Final Cut. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.